So let us see the uh, next uh, FAQ question asked in copper metallurgy. So what did he give us? How is leaching carried out in case of low grade copper ores? I already said what are low grade copper ores. Low grade copper ores are those which you extracted from the earth's crust by mining. Right? And further as I said we are going to follow the procedure and finally smelt it to get the particular copper metal whichever metal you are uh, trying to extract. So now they said low grade copper ore. So this is also extracted from the earth's crust by mining. Yes done. So we have already seen the ores. Now first when I ask this question try to write the definition of leaching. When I have to write the definition of leaching just start your answer. Leaching is a process of extraction of which one of metal by dissolving in like every for every metal there is a specific leaching agent okay dissolving in acids or dissolving in leaching agents Right. So, in this way. Now, after you leach, what will happen to the impurities? The impurities are going to get, they settle in the form of sludge. That is undissolved part of your, uh, or the impurities of the particular metal. So, you can also write, the. let us write this is 1, let us write this is 2. Undissolved part, undissolved part settles as sludge. Okay. Let us write one write let us write one equation so that you will understand. Now suppose if I have to take the leaching of copper because they have asked me to explain in copper terms. Copper, I'm going to use the leaching agent here is dilute sulfuric acid. So now this is your leaching agent. What will happen? We very well know. Copper sulfate forms and water. Now this is your leaching agent. Now suppose as I've seen in aluminium extraction, aluminium oxide ore is Al2O3. What is the leaching agent which we have used? We have used sodium hydroxide there. It is specific for the particular metal. Now this is your leaching agent. This forms a complex that is NaAlO2 that is sodium meta aluminate. That is what we have studied. Sodium meta aluminate. That's it. So this is you have to write your answer like that. Then only your complete one mark is allotted to this question. Now, now next question is at a site, at a site low grade copper. Okay, there is a low grade copper kept along with that zinc and iron scrapes are also kept. Right? Why do we use scra scrape scrape? Because the surface area is very high, and then, then the reactivity also will be very high, which would be suitable as reducing agent. Now, what is the criteria for deciding the reducing agent? We normally go with the electrode potential values that is what you have studied in electrochemistry we have a series called electrochemical series where we are going to decide which is which will uh, which will act as a better reducing agent now I picked up this list because they have asked me which is a better reducing agent I picked up the electrode potential values now as I see the electrode potential value of copper now they said copper is there among zinc and iron which will reduce this I have taken two copper electrode potential values and the next would be this iron and this. As we go above, remember, as we go above in the electrochemical series, the reducing capacity or the reducing property increases. I am going above, from below to above, the reducing property increases, in this way oxidizing property increases. So I am going above, just see, now copper, which is above copper, iron, compared to iron, which is above iron, zinc. So zinc electrode potential is minus 0.763, higher the reduction potential, better is the reducing agent, simple. So you have to write, higher reduction potential better reducing agent agent reducing agent right higher reduction potential means here what is the value what did we write here zn plus 2 by zn is minus 0.763 so which is greater than your iron fe plus 2 by fe how much is it minus 0 0.44 so what is the answer now zinc acts as acts as better reducing agent for copper that's it this is your answer full one mark allotted for this answer
Right, let us do the next Tefik equation in copper metallurgy. What is blister copper if they ask us? Right, we have already done this question in uh, copper metallurgy that is your bismarization process. So you have to just write blister copper is, uh, okay, let us write the answer in this way. Blister copper is formed, blister copper is formed, is formed during when is it formed? It's formed basically during conversion of the molten metal of copper formed during conversion, conversion of molten copper oxide into or copper metal will write better copper metal conversion of copper sulfide I should write isn't it because from copper sulfide only we will convert it into copper oxide so molten copper sulfide to copper oxide right now this is basically now let us write the reaction copper sulfide Cu2S when it combines with oxygen yes in the bismuth converter this is going to form copper oxide plus sulfur dioxide this is what you have studied yes so this copper oxide plus sulfur dioxide what did we say this is your molten form this is your uh, your solidification part we are trying to solidify it solidified part so this part when it is trying to solidify sulfur dioxide comes out in the form of blisters it tries to escape out from the copper metal and then when it is trying to escape it tries to form blisters or you know bubble type on that um, uh, copper metal that's why we call it as blister copper so this particular thing you can write sulfur dioxide tries to escape from copper oxide in the form of blisters hence called blister copper and blister copper that's it which is 98 percent pure now done now what is anode mud we have already done this question anode mud we, we speak in terms of electrolytic refining of copper so you can write anode mud is formed is formed in electrolytic refining of copper right so impurities like during electrolysis, we said you impure, uh, impure uh, metal is taken as a anode and pure is taken as a cathode. So during that impurities, what are the impurities which we see? We want to see silver, gold, trace amount, trace amount, not uh, kg, kilos and kilos, uh, kilograms. Trace amount of silver, uh, gold, platinum, antimony, uh, tin, okay, copper, and uh, not copper shouldn't be there. Yes, all these trace amount are obtained uh, below the anode. Uh, uh, this is an electrode so these are called as anode mud yes and like this one, are obtained below anode called anode mud that's it this is your answer right done simple answer now what is polling i already did this polling is a process of extracting metal from the metal oxide using green wood poles right green wood or log green uh, logs and everything here we are going to take the metal we are going to powder it with carbon uh, powder which acts as a reducing agent and i already explained again you are going to take a green uh, trees and place it on the wooden logs so once it just starts uh, burning off you get the hydrocarbon release of hydrocarbons this hydrocarbon is going to reduce your copper oxide to copper so you can watch the video for this watch refining of copper